Hello YouTube. I a few days ago got my first Raspberry Pi 3 model B and then on an attempt of trying to interface a GPS module with it I was in a real mess given there is something wrong with Raspberry Pi 3 model 3 um, just to keep it simple what happens is that the actual UART pin which was supposed to be given to TTY AMA0 is now given to serial 0 and Bluetooth is activated and that stuff like that it's I, I, I'm not gonna really get into the details but after about my numbing two days I have found a solution to that so today I'm gonna give that solution out to you people so let's start with the very basics and let's just login using SSH. By the way my Raspberry Pi 3 has already been connected to my router using Ethernet cable. I don't have a display just for Raspberry Pi 3 so I'm just going to be using my laptop and I'm going to log in and connect with the, with the um, using SSH connection. So the, lo the local IP to which my Raspberry Pi 3 is connected is this and then I'm just going to log in. Hmm, so now that you see we have logged in and everything we're, we're ready to do this. Okay, so before we begin, the interfacing of the model GPS module is quite simple. It's just um, the TX pin of the Raspberry Pi, which I suppose is on pin number 14, goes to the RX of your GPS module and the RX of the Raspberry Pi 3, which is pin number 15, goes to the TX of your GPS module then you can you can give 5 volts power and ground right from your Raspberry Pi to the module to the GPS module okay so let's get started the first thing that you need to do is you need to enable your UART so in order to do that just follow the steps you need to edit the config file all you need to do is you open this file the file is about 59 lines long and then just go to the very bottom of the file you'll see that your file would actually end here DTPARM equals audio equals on what you need to do is you need to add two, f two more lines to it actually what you need to do is you need to first just add enable underscore UART equals to one and then you have to save it. Let me just do that all over again. Let me just remove this. And then let me just remove this. So, once you open it for the first time, your file is going to look like this. Here you have to add enable underscore UART equals 1. And now, I hope that you guys have spent enough time with the Raspberry Pi to know that just to, to save changes, you press Control X and then press Y to save it and then enter so once you do that you need to reboot your Raspberry Pi 3 so sudo reboot now it's gonna take another 30 seconds or so for the Raspberry Pi to boot up and once it does we can re-log in so I'm just gonna wait for about 30 seconds or so for it to reboot the problem that I was facing when I did not do all of these things was that whenever I used to use Minicom, I'm going to get to that, how to use Minicom and everything to fetch the actual coordinates. It actually fetches enemy sequences, but you'll get it, you'll get the hang of it. Is that once I used to open it, my terminal used to freeze. I used to get nothing, it, used, it just used to freeze. And in order to get out of that, I had to shut the entire thing down and then re-log in okay I think it's about time so just restart the session login pi oops my bad and we're in just clear everything okay so we did that one change and now in the same file we need to add another line at the bottom Okay, then go all the way down on the file, and in the end, right here, right below, enable underscore UART, you need to add this. Oh 
okay I copied it and I pasted it and then just that's all that's you all that's all you have to do again save the file throw legs yes enter the file is saved now one more thing that you need to do here is you need to deactivate or disable the console now in order to disable the console what you need to do is there are certain commands that you have to run so I must be having those commands here okay so what you need to do is the first command that you have to run is you need to dis disable serial zero that is that means the Bluetooth or mini mini U, mini UART so in order to do that okay so see this is the command command I'll just I'll just do sort of changes in the command and stop. Copy this entire command once I'm done changing it. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so this is the first command that you have to pass. This stops the S0 port, S0 port, and then just copy the command, press enter, and another command that you have to pass is you need to this able the, the rest of the statement will remain the same and then just, just again hit enter and the third command that you need to pass is here you need to enable AMA 0 TTY AMA 0 is actually what we use in serial communication so this is done again hit enter now this is enabled now I'm gonna tell you about this package that is called minicom that you can use to fetch the coordinates well actually an MEA sequence is for using your GPS so first of all you need to download minicom so again sudo apt-get install minicom I already have it installed in my file so I don't think this is gonna do much good but it's it's about a 522 KB file if I remember correctly so it's not gonna take a lot of time to just get done with it and once you're done with it just to see that everything is properly functional just write minicom hyphen h and here you'll see this what this does is it just tells you all the hyphen short course you can use for different things now let me just clear it and what you could to fetch to start fetching an MEA sequence is the the statement goes like this sudo minicom ttyama0 is just what we changed and hyphen b is for baud rate another thing I'd like to mention here when I um, in a lot of videos on the in internet I saw baud rate to be put as 4800 but when I do that I really get nothing so oops that's my bad I'm sorry I had a little hot fall there what I forgot to tell you is that once you're done running the um, system command to disable serial zero you need to reboot and as you had seen or just a few seconds ago you did see that my screen froze that is what happens that was a demonstration of what happens when you don't change that when you try to use UART as it is without making such changes so as of now what you can see is now that everything's done also just to make sure that everything has been done correctly what you can do is um, sudo you don't actually do need to need sudo for that ls hyphen l dv so here if you scroll up you'll find that now at serial zero we don't have bluetooth at serial zero we have ttym is zero which is exactly what we need so now now that we're done let's see let's let's run wait before that I was I was telling you about mincom just clear that oops now that you've downloaded mincom and you've seen how help and everything works the statement you can use for mincom is 
I'm sorry I'm going over this again. I just had a log fall and I had to pause the video to make sure I was doing everything right. I forgot to tell you that you need to reboot once you are done putting those codes in, putting those statements in for disabling a zero. Do not forget to reboot after that. Again, so yeah, let's get back. sudo mincom hyphen d ttym is zero. Now hyphen b is for baud rate. What happens when I put for a double zero baud rate, which has been advised all over the internet all this while I've been looking at videos? Is I, I start to get garbage, and I think this is because the baud rate that is required for GPS module for me is just not quite close enough that's why the proper communication is not happening so if I use 9600 baud rate here just make it full screen 9600 baud rate and voila it's it's moving th there just that's just because um, the terminal that I'm using it's it's not very good but that's not an issue when you once you write it in a text file to get your proper coordinates you're gonna get just fine and another thing see now it's in the sequence another thing that I can show you and another thing how need, how you guys can exit out of this window is you press control A and then press X leave me to come yes now let's see what happens if I put one one five two double zero baud rate it froze and now it's giving garbage and now you see it's giving proper coordinates just just to show you that it's actually working properly I have a code written with me and then now let's, let's actually run that um, I can actually put the code as well on demand if you guys want it Um, okay, I already have the build file of the CPP program, so I'm just going to run it. I can make a whole another video for you guys to see how to do this entire code thing that fetches your coordinates. And see, as you can see, this is giving me my RMC sentence and my GGA sentence. And these are the coordinates. It's C. 1827.2355 north and then your east coordinate these are just coordinates if you really put these things there are certain applications available on the internet where you can put your coordinates to get your exact location and the reason why is it looping all over again is because I have put it in an infinite while loop just because if the coordinate of my Raspberry Pi changes I get the updated, updated coordinates right away Anyways, so I hope this video was useful. I'm going to do an entire series of Raspberry Pi 3 right from the scratch. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.